I'm Isabel Robinson, an analyst for Market Intelligence team. Today I'm going to talk to you about the recent early bird survey results and what they mean for the market. The survey is our first insight into the UK crop areas for harvest 2017. But first, just a bit of background on how the survey is undertaken. So Anderson's carried out a survey during the autumn to assess the national cropping intentions and, use, and uses a team of agronomists to gather data across all regions of Great Britain. We are seeing a continuing trend towards spring cropping and this year is no different. The wheat area is forecast to fall by around 1% to 1.8 million hectares. This 2017 area forecast is 4% below the past five year average. The downward trend seen is despite of good drill drilling conditions and is mainly the impact of black grass causing farmers to switch out of wheat for agronomic reasons. This leads us on to the barley area. The winter barley area is expected to decline by around 9%, whereas the spring barley area is likely to increase, with the 2017 area forecast to be almost 17% higher at 799,000 hectares. We usually see a high spring barley planted area when conditions in the autumn are poor, such as, as in autumn of 2012. However, the reason behind the large increase in area for 2017 is due to black grass control. It's important to keep in mind though, that the spring plantings are still the biggest unknowns of the survey results, with plantings still yet to take place. Also, we could see a switch in this area to spring wheat due to the price spread between wheat and barley widening. Now, it probably comes as no surprise to many that the rapeseed area for 2017 has been forecasted down. The survey showed a further decline of 4%, giving a projected area of 557,000 hectares. This is a forecast net area, so it does account for the abandonment, and if realized, is the lowest area since 2004. There are key regional differences to this figure. For example, in the east, there is an even more dramatic decrease of 28% due to cabbage stem flea beetle damage and lack of moisture making establishment difficult. But the area is expected higher in some areas too. The overall lower area for harvest 2017 could mean another year for tighter supplies, which could keep prices supported despite heavy global supply, supplies of soybeans weighing down on the markets. I mentioned earlier the potential incentive to switch area from spring barley, the go-to spring crop, to spring wheat due to the price spread between feed wheat and feed barley. And what we show here are theoretical spring gross margins that support this. This analysis uses industry standard data on yields and costs, plus forward price assessments, so including estimated contract prices where applicable, to arrive at indicative gross margins for a range of spring crops in England. What we see here is that for 2017, the difference between the feed barley and malting barley gross margins is widening. While malting barley remains the most attractive spring cereal, this essentially means an increased risk to planting spring barley either for feed or if the crop fails to meet malting spec. This season, so 2016-17, we have seen feed barley production surplus to domestic needs and a further shift into spring barley in 2017 could increase pressure on feed barley prices. If we look at spring wheat, however, we can see that the difference between the milling wheat and the feed wheat margin remains narrow compared to barley. The market-related risks of growing spring wheat, even if it ends up in the feed market, look increasingly low relative to spring barley. This is an example of the market incentivizing you to look at other spring crops and to think about whether the plant to plant that go-to option of spring barley this year. We will be updating these gross margin figures and publishing the results in December, so keep an eye out on our markets page. You can also read the full report for the survey on our markets website and you have, if you have any questions then please feel free to get in touch. Thank you for watching.